The warm waters off the Gulf of Mexico are home to many different kinds of endangered sea turtles. One species, the Kemp's Ridley sea turtle, is still very much in danger of extinction. But the population is making a gradual rebound, thanks in part to a group of marine researchers in Texas. Welcome to the National Marine Fisheries Sea Turtle Facility. Marine biologist Shauna Lynn Baker says as the smallest species of sea turtle in the world, the Kemp's Ridley needs all the help it can get. They're an integral part of the ecosystem. Um, they've been around for millions and millions of years, ever since the dinosaur, and really it's the humans' fault why we, um, why they are, their numbers are going down, and we have sort of a responsibility to make up for that. The turtle population along the Gulf Coast is making its comeback, thanks in part to the invention of a new technology for fishing nets called the TED, or turtle excluder device. This is the actual turtle excluder device right here. How this works is this funnel shape over here is called an accelerator funnel and what it does is it passes a large quantity of water through a small area and that causes the water to be moving really fast. It starts a current through here. So everything is being pushed through this area up against these bars. Anything smaller than the spaces between these bars like shrimp and small fish go through the bars and on towards the back of the net where they're caught in the back. Anything larger than the spaces between these bars it was designed for turtles, but it also works for sharks and large fish. Because the current is pushing on them and the bars are kind of slanted, it pushes them down towards this opening here in the bottom. Um, this flap right here will be held shut by the water pressure, but as soon as anything gets down inside there, it opens it up and the turtle can escape and go up to the top to breathe. Um, and then the flap will close behind them. In the past, turtles were often caught in a variety of fishing nets. And while the problem still exists today, U.S. shrimp fishermen are now required by law to use the new device. Some fishermen who use the device complain that having holes in their nets can cause them to lose a significant percentage of their catch. But biologists say the new nets can also work in the fishermen's favor. They um, generally would catch more shrimp throughout the season because this doesn't just exclude the occasional turtle, it excludes anything large in the back of their nets. So they can pull their nets for a lot longer before they fill up and they get a higher percentage of actual shrimp that they can keep each time. Biologists at this facility are putting a lot of hope in the success of the turtle excluder device. But they've also developed other research efforts that have boosted the Ridley population, like captive breeding. With every healthy turtle, the species is one small step farther from extinction.